Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which I'm so excited about because it's about my favorite thing in the whole world, which is tiny little baby clothes. I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of Juniper's closet and just all of her clothing storage. And then we're gonna do a little baby outfits of the week. So I will show you guys what she wears every day this week, where all the pieces are from, where our favorite places are to shop, and it's gonna be a blast. So here's Miss Juniper's room. I don't think much of anything has changed since the last time you guys saw it, but I've never really done an in-depth tour of our storage. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So when you walk in the door right to your left here is her little laundry basket. It's just a little thrifted vintage laundry basket and her dresser. This is the antique that Matt and I worked so hard to restore. It's working great. We absolutely love it. In this top drawer here, we have all of her onesies and pants. So it starts with tank onesies and then goes to short sleeve, long sleeve, um, matching sets. And then all of these are pants here. These are all clothes in her current size. She has a very excessive amount of clothing because I bought a bunch of stuff for her. We got a bunch of stuff as gifts from friends and family. And then we also have Rowan's hand-me-downs. So see the color palette is very like light, pastels, florals. Then in this second drawer down here, we have all of her PJs and bibs. So all of her footy pajamas, zip pajamas. We have some sleep sacks right here. And then this massive stack of bibs, which I cannot believe how quickly we go through these. She is a very spitty, drooly, spitty uppy girl. So we definitely need lots of bibs. And then down here in this bottom drawer, it's very packed, but it's got all of her extra crib sheets and blankets and like baby carriers and stuff, my Solly wraps. So that's kind of this area over here. Oh, we do also have her diapers and wipes in this little caddy and all of her little bonnets are in the bottom one. We wear those a lot. And then you turn to the right and we have her closet. So we have just a couple bows hanging up. I'll show you the full bow storage situation soon, um, but these are just some extras because I don't know, it looks cute to have it there. I'm gonna open up her closet and show you guys how we have everything organized. So up here we have just some gifts that we haven't had a chance to open yet for her. This basket is full of clothes that are too big or too small for her that need to go into different storage bins. They are in the attic storage. So I just put them in here until we do an attic trip and then I switch them out. This is miscellaneous. Matt and I storage, so ignore that. <laughs> and then this is the bulk of all of her clothes. So you'll see I have everything sectioned off with these really sweet little markers. I got these on Etsy, I'll link them below, and they make it so easy to see at a glance what sizes are what. So this goes from smallest to largest. The smallest size we have in here right now, I believe is three to six months, cause she's seven months old, but she's small. So she still fits into some of that three to six month stuff. And then it goes all the way up to six to 12 here. We've got some really sweet pieces that I'm excited to show you later in the week. I would say our most used items are like bubble rompers, dresses, definitely little sweaters. And then down here, we just have like extra toys, extra diapers, and then this is her keepsake box, um, extra socks. And then this is like kind of all of the practical stuff, like the Frida baby, it's not sucker, or it's not actually Frida brand, but same thing. Um, and the little like wallpaper thingy for her room to smooth out bubbles and just kind of all the boring stuff. So that is her closet. And then the last place we store clothing items in her room is this little corner right here. So in this really sweet quilt basket that I got on Etsy from a maker called Hello Stell, we have all of her socks. Socks are a necessity. It is still fairly cold here, so wear those pretty much every day. Oop, there's a rogue bow in here. But the majority of the bows live in this little dresser. This was a thrift find and I just painted it and changed the knobs. The drawers are still a little tough, but it works. So in this little container that we got from Target, I have all of the bows that are on little headbands like this. So we have some really sweet little linen ones. These ones are actually supposed to be over here. This lace one looked so big on her when she was in the hospital and it doesn't now and it breaks my heart. We have some little clippies for her hair here. And then these are all the bigger, like thicker headbands. 
Then in the second drawer here, we have tights on the left. These are all her tights. She wears these pretty much every single day. I would say we wear tights more often than we even wear socks because like I said, it's cold. So it's almost always like a bubble romper or a dress with tights underneath. Then this one in the middle is all of the little clippy bows. So alligator clips on all of these. We've got some bigger, some smaller. Can't wait for her to wear this one for Easter. It's gonna be so cute. And then we have shoes over here. We honestly don't wear shoes that often because she just kicks them off, but we do have some and they're very cute. And then this bottom drawer doesn't open. So that's awesome. I need to fix it, but it's like very, very stuck. So there's nothing in there right now. I also have a couple outfits up here that she has outgrown, but that I can't bear to pack away. So I'm using them as decor in this little corner. And honestly, they still look pretty cute, so. I know I'm always getting questions from you guys about where we shop for our kids' clothes, and we shop basically the same places for both of them, so I thought I would share. So on the like easier to find, more affordable end, we love H&M, we love Zara, those are two constants. The Target Baby Clothing has really upped its game this year, so we've gotten a few things from there as well. But I feel like most of the stuff that we have is from more like boutique kind of shops. Some of our favorites are Quincy May, probably my number one. I love their stuff for both boys and girls. So cute, such good quality. I also love Jamie K, Riley and Crew, Spencer and Hazelnut is a really cute one. And then everything else they own is pretty much either thrifted or from Etsy. So I like a lot of Korean baby girls clothes. So I get those on Etsy because it's the easiest place to find them. I do have a full list up on my Patreon of like all of our favorite baby shops for everything, including like clothes, toys, feeding essentials, accessories, like all the things. So if you're on my Patreon, go and check that out. But that's kind of the overview of where we get most of their clothes. So now we're gonna go see Junie's outfit for the day. Okay, here's today's very cute little OOTD. This is actually her seven month pictures outfit. And I think the whole thing is from Jamie K. So this is the Francis play suit. I'm a sucker for bubble rompers. I would say it's probably like our most worn item in her closet. And then we have it paired with these little sweet gingham pigtail bows. I have a matching one that's like bigger for me, which is really fun to match. Oh yeah? And then we have these sweet little knee high socks in this like lacy pattern. And let me show them your bracelet. Here is her little <laughs> bracelet. She's moving around, so I don't know how well you can see it. But this is from Shop Mama and Me. It's like a little heart one. And again, I have a matching Yay. one. If you couldn't tell, I love matching her. And you look so cute today, huh? Happy seven months. <laughs> today's outfit again this is entirely Jamie K I promise this isn't sponsored but Jamie K if you want to sponsor me please hit me up because I'm a big fan so we have this sweet little pink crocheted bonnet this little ruffle top with puff sleeves I think it is so cute it's called the Camille top I believe I don't think they sell this color anymore but still very cute <laughs> we've got some little pink frilly shorts and these very light pink lace top socks and then of course another bracelet this one is a little pearl one it's by gems by laura all right here's missy may's outfit of the day headband is from amazon this little outfit is from etsy We've got tights from Jamie K and shoes from Piper and Thin, I think it's called. All right, Junie, you ready to show them your outfit today? So cute! This little overalls and shirt set is from H&M. I'll definitely make sure to link some H&M favorites down below. I will say they run big. We've got this little bow from Etsy. 
and my favorite little ruffly socks from Amazon. So cute. All right, here's outfit of the day today. We've got this little sweet floral bonnet from Quincy May. This Peter Pan linen romper is actually from Amazon, but it's handmade by a small business and they just sell it on Amazon. We've got her little juniper name bracelet from Made by Mary and some more sweet Jamie K socks. All right, uni girl, you ready to show them your outfit today? First, we've got this little waffle headband from Walmart. This little Peter Pan collar sweater is from H&M. I totally have a thing for Peter Pan collars. And then these little ribbed floral pants are also from H&M. Oh, and very casual today. You look cute, girlfriend. Welcome to our final day of outfits. I'll be honest with you guys, today really got away from me, so she's just getting up from her nap and she hasn't been dressed yet. So we're gonna take out an outfit for you. Okay, let's see what we have in here. I think today we'll wear our favorite little Quincy May dress right here. And we're gonna need some tights. Let's see. Oh, these ones will be cute. And of course we can't forget a bow. I think this one will be really cute. These little Quincy May bell dresses are my all time favorite. We have them in so many colors and they're so cute. That is gonna be it for Juniper's Outfits of the Week. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know if you want me to do one of these for Rowan or another one for Juniper. We love you guys a lot and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.